Hi Stampers, this is Diane Cisneros and today I'm going to do, Diane will teach me that. This is the card we're going to do. It is uh, done with the set called Truly Grateful from the Holiday Catalog and I have lots of stuff around me so that I can show you each step of the way. I used old olive cardstock and I cut it four and a quarter by eleven and I scored it at five and a half. So we'll put this card together as we go. Then I uh, went ahead and cut my pumpkin, pumpkin pie, and I cut that uh, five and a quarter by four. And we'll get that put on. Okay, then I cut a piece of vanilla, very vanilla, five by three and three quarters and then I ran it through the wood grain folder, embossing folder, so that it has this nice wood grain texture. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Now this one you have to be a little careful with because it's been, uh, in, there's so many lines that the material or the paper is really weak so you don't want to rip it. So we're going to put that on there. And then uh, I took this stamp. Here's the set. And I took this stamp right here. And here it is. And I went ahead and just stamped it on a piece of vanilla. Then I put it in my cutter and I cut just right around it, square around it. And I'm, I came out with this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Now this you could use dimensionals, but I'm using dimensionals on some of the other pieces, so um, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so the next step would be using my ovals collection and I used, uh, from the outside, one, two, three, I used four and five. So this is for the, um, the old olive and then the pumpkin. So let me get these out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that there, but I want to show you how I did my um, my wheat or my grass or whatever it is there. I'm going to go ahead and carefully stamp this with early espresso and just put it right in the middle. And then what I did was I ran it through, we're going to do some magic here, I ran it through the uh, square lattice folder after I stamped it and then it gives it a nice texture. So um, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to use some dimensionals for this part. Stand it up. Okay. I'm still in my small space, my Video camera hasn't come back, so we're going to continue using this little eyeball. Okay. So, I'm going to use dimensionals again. Top and bottom. I'm just going to do top, bottom, and middle because I want to be able to slide that um, burlap in there. Okay. Okay, so next I'm going to start cutting my other little stamps. Like this is a, looks like the trunk of a tree. And I'm going to use uh, the punches one and three quarters to punch one out. 
And then I'm going to use a small one inch to cut just a little middle piece of another one, just to give more dimension. Take a dimensional, pop it up, set it in the middle. Then I have these little candy dots and I have them in early espresso so I'm going to take one and put it, oh my gosh, I'm going to put it in the middle just as a vocal point and this one I'm not going to raise up because I've already raised the top and I'm just going to set that right there kind of covers up the side. Then I have this cute, this is a one and a quarter acorn. Now on my original I went ahead and cut out a piece of uh, early espresso, one size bigger, but I forgot to bring it so we're just going to use this and we'll pop it up and that will cover this side. Okay so now I have uh, Biddy Banners framelits and Truly Grateful and I went ahead and ran that through. So easy and I'm going to just take some adhesive and put that across. Okay, so here is my burlap and I went ahead and frayed it a little bit. You can fray it as much as you want. And I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on it. Now this adhesive doesn't work all that well on burlap. so. Before I mail this out, I am probably going to use my hot glue gun to make sure that stays in there. So let me put these side by side. And you can see how easy and how much um, texture you can add. You can stamp on a piece of paper and then run it through your texture folders. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to show you that is so cool. It is this. Forgot what, I forgot what it's called. It's not in the catalog. Last time I said that somebody wrote to me and said they found what I was talking about but I don't believe this one's in there. So I'm using an early espresso marker. I'm going to push it all the way down to the point. And I'm going to use a piece of scratch paper first to see and I'm going to blow past the point so you can see what a fine it has a real fine um, splatter and we have uh, other little uh, containers that you can splatter with also so I'm trying to get some of this on my vanilla just a little more character so there it is now this will be uh, I won't be doing a Diane will teach me that next Saturday I am leaving uh, to go visit my sister in Maine so I'm going to post um, up until that point and then I will be out of action for a few days. I'm going to be gone a week. So um, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon.